so uh, one year he came over, <laughs> and uh, and you know, again, I just want to give him an experience because he shares his experiences with me, and I'm so you know, it, it's so magical and it inspires me. I said, listen, I want to give you an experience. You know, so what is it that you've never done? He's like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I says, you ever ride a quad? He's like, uh, no. I says, well, you want to? He's like, yeah. I said, okay. Well, you're driving, and uh, <laughs> he said, what? I said, yeah. So, uh, fortunately, I've got some space where I'm at. You know, we got on the quad, and I, I put him in front. I, I put his hands on the controllers, and, uh, and I say, okay, this is how you accelerate, brake, and, uh, you, know, and he, you know, he feels everything. And it's amazing how, how intuitive he is and how he can feel everything. And, uh, you know, so I get on the back of the bike with him, and we tell him to go. Let me tell you, it was the scariest goddamn experience I've ever had because <laughs> talk about not being in control and having blind faith, right? Yeah, so, that's right. So tell us, tell me your experience about that and what you, what you felt uh, as you were doing that. I mean, I, I loved it because I was reading our dogs, just uh, my guide dog and the uh, dog just uh, running beside the quad. And uh, you, you, I mean, you were talking in this very calm voice, like turn a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left, no, stop. And one moment, I didn't want to stop. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> and uh, I remember the point when you said, Stop! I said, oh my gosh, we are going to kill someone. <laughs> but I, I, I love this. I mean, I love to drive. And uh, it's one of the things I can't do yet. And uh, I can't wait to have those uh, self-drive cars. And um, I love it. So th those kind of experiences for me were that are unforgettable. Well, I did tell you, by the way, that the next time you come, I'm going to teach you how to drive. I don't know if you remember that, but I did tell you I'm going to teach you how to drive. Yeah. Uh, okay. so we'll see. So you, that's, that's something for you to look forward to, but I'll tell you, I'll share another experience with you. And again, just talking about heightened senses and, 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 and about overcoming and just about focus and laser focus on what it is that you want and the experience. So he came maybe a year or two later, he came over again and I said, so wait a minute, you know, first, you know, I'll have to tell this story as well. You know, first of all, I made, I don't know if it was dinner or breakfast, whatever it was, you know, and, uh, and I put it on the table and said, okay, you know, uh, you know, I put some on his plate and he starts saying, I'm like, wait, stop, stop. It's, it's really hot. He's like, Tony, I grew up with six brothers and sisters. I had to learn how to eat it when it's hot because if I didn't eat it when it was hot, it was gone by the time I went for it. <laughs> that was, that was just another story that I remember. But that day, uh, we're sitting there saying, okay, so what's going to be our experience this year? What, you know, what do you want to do? What, what haven't you done that you'd want to do? He's like, ah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I said, well, don't you ever shoot a gun? He says, no. You said, no. I said, you want to? He's like, yes. So I'm like, all right, well, giddy up. Let's go. And, uh, you know, I was excited to take you. You were excited. And I went with another friend of mine. We go into uh, the, the range. And, uh, you know, I, you know, I had brought a few things with me, right? And he says, do you have eye and ear protection? I said, absolutely. So, you know, I, you know I, everybody got ear protection, and I had three pairs of glasses, two pairs of, of, of clear glasses, and one pair of dark glasses. So my friend and I took uh, 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 the clear glasses, and I gave Enamed the dark glasses. And we're going in like, sir, 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 you can't wear dark glasses. You've got to wear clear glasses. I said, you know, uh, actually, frankly, it doesn't matter because he's blind anyway. And the guy's eyes just turned into saucers. And he followed us in. You know, normally there's only one, one range master in the range while you're shooting. In this case, there were two. There was the range master. There was the one standing right behind us. Because, because uh, um, okay, granted, I might be a little nuts. But I took, a, I, I took the blind guy shooting guns. So uh, aside from it being one hell of an experience, it was just a blast. And just to ex see you as you're firing and the different, the different percussions and the different shots and just seeing you do that was, 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 uh, was an experience for me as well. But the amazing thing is that this man can see more with no eyes than, than uh, or rather with no sight than both of us with perfect vision. You know, so I, 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 I would, Stand, show him how to stand and position him and let him feel the weapon and everything else. And then, you know, I'd put him on target and he'd fire one, two, three. And then, and then he'd start to drop off a little bit to the left and down. I said, okay, stop up and to the right again. So he'd go up and to the right and right back on target. Freaking amazing, 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 amazing. So that was just something that, again, memorable for me because 
you know, it's just amazing how well you do take instruction. And it's amazing how many of us that see don't take instruction because we think we know it all because, you know, it's just amazing. So that was just, you know, there's so much that I've been learning from you and I met over the years and I can't wait to see you in person again, but uh, it's just, you know, it's just, it's just amazing. So I want to hear now what your next adventure is. Cause I know you've got one. We, you told me briefly something that you're working on. So I want to know a little bit more about your, your current adventure. Tell me about what it is that you're doing. Now. Um, at the end of the next year, 2019, I'm planning to, um, to do another challenge. It's called the Ultraman, Ultraman which is uh, six miles swimming. Okay, and nine, nine, 90 miles in the bike the first day. The second day are 170 miles seven zero, in the bike. And the third day is a double marathon, which is uh, 52 miles running. So the total is um, around uh, the 320 miles in three days. So I want to do that. Uh, it's not. It's not only because I want to be a new challenge, you know, and dare myself and see where what it can go and uh, how far I can go. It's more I want to help um, to give to, to, to give to give more awareness to this uh, project. It's called Transplant Child here in Europe, and um, they are helping these kids. They are under two years old. They are helping. Uh, they doing a transplant to them, like uh, you know lungs or heart or uh, liver and um, you know it's something sad about uh, at least in Spain or in Europe they don't have enough money to do research they don't have yeah. enough money to save lives they don't have uh, people they don't know about them so I met this hero it's a woman she's 70 years old and she's uh, working on this in the last 50 years so when I asked her she started talking about how she do uh, surgery to this kid um, under six months um, old. And it's unbelievable. I mean, the dedication, the work, uh, all the things we were talking about in this podcast. She's, um, she's a life proof. Uh, I mean, she's practicing those things every day. So um, I decided um, to raise some money uh, for them to give uh, more opportunities to those children because thank God I have uh, a lot of support around me and a lot of, a lot of people, they uh, give me a hand in uh, some specific moments. People like my parents, yeah. people, like, uh, my teachers or my coaches, but people like you, Tommy, because uh, you believe I can do more. And uh, I mean, you give me the, 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 some kind of support made me believe, okay, I want to go to the U.S. because if I, if I find at least two, three people like Tony, that's going to be a great experience. And I'm not just, uh, you know, being nice to you. It's, it's, I really believe that. So I'm raising this, um, doing this event, this challenge, to give more opportunity to some children because when they were born, they don't have that opportunity. So it's in our hands yeah. to give them a new life. Yeah, and that's why you know I wanted I, I want to highlight uh, I want to highlight that because we did speak about that the other day and how there just isn't enough money and that these these doctors and these researchers are making you know the equivalent of three thousand dollars a month four thousand dollars a month so you know I, I certainly encourage anyone who's listening to to uh, to check it out because uh, you know uh, Europe is great it's got a socialized medical system and that's the problem with the socialized medical system unfortunately you know obviously there's good and bad in every system and uh the bad of that one is is that there's just not enough money uh, uh sometimes for the research and to go around and sometimes even for transplants so you know i and Ahmed, what is a, a website that that uh, where they can find that or a link or certainly uh, i'll i'll comment and i'll i'll, I'll attach something uh, uh to this podcast where, where they'll be able to go to it. Um, and so do you, do you have a website for them or do you know it offhand? I apologize for not asking you for this beforehand. So we are working on, um, in, in, in our website, in my website, we're working to create a platform to raise the money to send it directly to them. And uh, my website is basically enamed.com, E-N-H, 
amed.com. So in the next days and next weeks, we are uh, we're gonna put on uh, all those uh, you know details and the info, and uh, also in my um, my social media, you can find me as uh, Enamed. Um, I will uh, share all the information about Transplant Child and the, the amazing work they are doing, and some interviews with the kids and with the parents. So you can know um, really what we are talking about and uh, who's gonna who's gonna have that opportunity. That's awesome. And I'll just say that when we were talking about that the other day, you were telling me about that ultra marathon that you were going to do. You, you, you know, you told me how, you know, you, you, there was something missing. There was something missing as to, uh, for that ultra marathon that was going to drive you. And that's when you said, you know, so I've decided that I'm going to do this ultra marathon to support this transplant center, to help them raise funds and help them raise awareness and everything else. So listen, you know, I respect you. I commend you. I appreciate you as a friend. I appreciate you as a coach, as, as a leader. You know, uh, and Ahmed and I kind of, you know, exchange. We, we coach each other uh, on a semi-regular basis. But, you know, I'd love to do it even more than we do now. And uh, looking forward to having you come and visit and, and bringing Gala to, to hang out with Max and, and run around here and teach you how to drive. So I am looking forward to that, my friend. Listen, um, so tell us again. So, uh, well, we already know enemed.com is where you can find Enemed for both uh, following Enemed and, and on his adventures and, and on his accomplishments and on projects that he's working on. If you need corporate coaching, uh, personal coaching, whatever it is, he's a fantastic, I, I will absolutely attest to that, uh, fantastic coach and, and trainer as well. And you can, like I said, just follow him and see what he's doing. He's got an exciting, uh, he's always on some kind of exciting journey, exciting trip. Um, and certainly you can find me at uh at uh on, on facebook tony rodriguez uh or i've got a facebook group as well on the bright side uh also got another one get up and grow you can find me at get up and grow.com on instagram tony rodriguez 2.0 and certainly uh you can find us now on spotify and hopefully we'll soon be on apple itunes and iHeartRadio as well so uh i just want to wrap up again and just say how much I appreciate you, how much I honor everything that you do and everything that, you know, the inspiration that you've had on my kids, for God's sakes. You know, one year, uh, the first year that Animet came, he brought his gold medal. And, you know, my kids are, you know, they're sitting there rocking the gold medals. It was, it was, a, cool, it was the coolest thing. So uh, that was an experience that they certainly won't forget, nor will I. So I appreciate you, my friend. I honor you. I honor your journey. And, uh, and you're just an inspiration to, to me and to so many. So thank you again for, for being here. Thank you so much, and I want, only want to say the last thing is uh, it's more important in our life to have a vision than to have a sight. So thank you so much, and I hope uh, this um, podcast helps a lot of people. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm sure that we will, especially, you know, uh, you've got an amazing story, so it's a compelling one as well. But that's beautiful. It's more important to have vision than it is to have sight. And that takes <laughs> as well, right? <laughs> passion and purpose and you've got both so again i appreciate you my friend thank you very much um visit enemed's website visit me on mine if coaching is always available both by myself and by enemed uh we appreciate you thank you for listening and we'll see you on the next episode until then don't forget to get up and grow You're my life, you're my breath, you're a smile, you're my guest, you're the earth, you're the sun, you're the grass, you are love, you're my hands, you're a bug, you're my eyes, you're a hug, you're the light in the dark, you're the spark, you are fun, you're my mom, you are water, you're the stars, you're my daughter, you're my friend till the end, you're my dreams, you're my father, you're the ants on the ground, the miracles that surround, I'm feeling it all around, the hemisphere in the clouds, you're my pain, you're my sorrow, you're my hope for tomorrow, you're the strength when I'm hollow, you're the path that I follow, you're the blessings that exist, the small things that are bliss, the gift to realize that everything. Oh.